Are you frustrated with trying to get the right size for the big hero images on your Thinkific site? Do they slow down your page load speed? If so, I've got just what you need. Stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, I'm Kim Garnett, better known as Brainy Girl, and we help novice course creators get their courses online and into the hands of their buyers. So this is one of the big frustrations that I see with people who come to me who are trying to build their own landing pages on Thinkific is this big hero image, what to do with it, how to size it properly, how to compress it so that it's not slowing down your page load speed. So I thought I would take you behind the scenes and show you a couple of tips and tricks to help you out. Okay, so the first thing to keep in mind is that it's probably better not to choose an image where you need a very specific focal point. So if I look through, I'm just on Unsplash here, I'm gonna look through some photos and try and find one that's not so specific that I need a very specific size. Knowing that there are some sizing issues with the banner section on Thinkific and you do need to work around them a little bit. Let's try this one here. This one looks like a good one. Now this is quite a specific focal point, but we're going to give it a try anyways. So we're going to click on the image and when you download it from wherever you're going to get it from, make sure it's at least 1440 pixels wide. So in this case, I'm going to choose the medium because it has to be at least 1440 pixels. So I'm going to download this. Great. And now I am going to go over to PicMonkey or Canva and do some resizing. Okay, so here I am in PicMonkey. I'm going to drag that image over here so we can do some work on it. And if you go back to the banner section on any Thinkific sales page, you're going to find in the hero image section uh, the exact dimensions that you need. Now, this doesn't mean it's always going to appear this way, but this is the suggested dimensions. So that's what we're going to use here. So we need 14, 14, 1440 pixels wide. So here's the original image. The first thing I'm going to do is resize it to 1440 pixels and apply that. The next thing I'm going to do is crop this because I want it 1440 by 720. Now I have learned by doing these enough times for enough clients and for myself that you need to actually give it a little bit of headspace at the top. So I, this is the way that I want to crop it. So I've got some headspace here because when I put it into Thinkific, depending on how much copy and text I have in there, that's going to change the sizing somewhat. So this is what, this is sort of a starting point is what I would call this. So I've got the 1440 by 720. I'm going to apply that and I'm going to download this in a PNG format. Great. Now the other thing I see is people not compressing their large images. If you don't compress your larger images for any website, including Thinkific, it will slow down how fast your page loads. And if you have slow load page speeds, you're going to lose people before your page loads. So you want to make sure that you now compress any large images that are going to go on your Thinkific site because that will speed up your page load, uh, your page load speed. So I'm going to use a tool here. It's called tiny PNG. It's tinypng.com free tool. And I'm going to drag this over here and let it compress. And when it's finished compressing, I'm going to download it. Great. So now I'm going to go back to my Thinkific site into my banner section and my hero image block. And I'm going to upload this compressed version and we're going to see how it turned out. Okay. So before I do anything else, I'm going to save this and I'm going to go look at it in full screen. This is how it should theoretically appear on a desktop, right? Is like this. So as you can see, remember I told you that there was going to be some headspace that was taken off. You can see that here, which is why I cropped it the way I did. Uh, let's go back to this so we can work in this. So as far as size and alignment goes, you can choose your size and alignment. So we could have this as a small banner at the top if we wanted to, but you need to remember that banners will get larger and smaller based on how much copy you have in these sections, heading and subheading. So I'm going to choose large because I think it's better for this 
uh, particular image. I'm going to choose the alignment of the text. It's going to be on the left over here. Perfect. And I actually really like it because she's pointing over there. So I like that visual and I'll save that. Um, let's change the overlay slightly so it's not quite so dark. Great, but we still want the words to stand out. So I'm going to check it in full screen and ideally I'm going to check it in an incognito window on desktop. And then I'm also going to check it on mobile, but not just this mobile. I'm actually going to pick up my phone and I'm going to uh, do it on my phone as well. So I get an accurate view uh, of what that image is going to look like on a mobile device. So there's some tips and tricks for uh, working with that banner image section on your Thinkific landing pages. If you need help with your Thinkific site, click the link below or above and get in touch. See you soon.